Hello everyone, we are pleased to introduce you to the Apex SVN connector developed by Database Consulting. Using this tool makes the development process easier, faster, and more effective. This is an important tool for development teams where multiple developers are working on the same applications at the same time. It allows concurrent application changes. To start working with SVN, you must first install the SVN integration application and then run it. Apex SVN Connector is an Apex extension that extends the Apex application builder with subversion features. There is a grid below that allows you to configure the application to work with the SVN repository. The new SVN menu is available in page edit mode. For example, you can commit, revert a page or view the change log from the SVN repository. Status, it allows you to check whether the page is in the repository, whether it is the current version, or if there are any local changes. Show page log, this option allows you to view page changes, who made changes and when. Lock page allows you to lock the page for editing. So other developers cannot commit their changes. Unlock option, to unlock the page. Update page, allows you to update the page from the repository. Revert page to revision, allows you to restore the page to an older version. Commit page to the repository. Check in application option allows you to commit the whole application. Let's check how it works. Here we go. Let's create a new desktop application. The name, application 700. Next. The application has created successfully. Let's create a blank page. Now it's time to configure the repository. I choose my application and provide the path to the repository. The page does not exist in the repository. So, let's commit the page. I can add a comment.
The page has been committed successfully with revision 241. The local revision number is 241. And the revision in the repository is also 241. Let's check the page log. I will lock the page. Lock details are available in the status window. I will create a new region. And save the page. What will I see in the page status window? Of course, the site has local changes and is still locked. I will commit the page. OK. Successfully committed with revision 242. The current revision is 242 and the page is not locked. The SVN history window shows both commits. Let's create a page item and commit this change. The list shows three revisions. How to revert a page to older revision. Choose revert page to revision option. Select the revision you wish to revert. Let's revert to revision 241. Please note that all local changes will be discarded. The page has been successfully restored to revision 241. Local revision is 241. The revision of the repository is 243. Update page brings changes from the repository into my working copy.
please note that update page will discard all local changes as well. Region and item are on the side again. Sometimes, you may need to revert a page to an older revision, add some changes to this older version, and commit to the repository again. Let's revert to revision 241. I make some changes on the page. Save the page and commit the changes. Local revision is older than in the repository. What's more, with some changes. Local version is lower than in the repository. Load latest version of the page from the repository works just like the update option. Let's replace the page in the SVN repository. The page has been committed with the newest revision. Thank you. Please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe for more Apex content.